Okay, I'm going to the building for, with uh, regarding the protection orders. Um, I'm doing this video is because they set me up like they did at CPS. I believe corrupt government officials are monitoring my phone and they can see what I'm looking up and then they know where I'm going. And then they had that security guard there and she lied and said that I hit her. And then when they found out that I recorded her, then they changed it up to uh, get, to give me a criminal trespass and then arrested me because they didn't know that I was recording. Then when they found out I recorded it and it was evidence that I didn't hit her and she lied, then they switched it up. I have 20 false arrests and nothing is done. These people are still free. So I'm going to go ahead and go there and, you know, hopefully something will be done. I mean, these felonies are stacking up. It's obvious, obvious a lot of these um, people in the comments are stalking. It's cyberbullying. Um, they, they, a lot of these people have crossed the line of just being a, making abusive comments. They are actually stalking, putting my personal business in, in, um, in the comments and cyberbullying, like t telling my locations and critical information to cause havoc. And some of these people have claimed, um, the police are claiming that some of these people are calling locations and have, they're the reason behind why these, some of these locations are depriving me of services. I know that's not true because the police department were behind why these locations were depriving me of services before I got the YouTube channel. And now they're blaming it on these people in the comments. So I'm a little distraught because, you know, going to these places are not, is not safe for me. They set up havoc before I get there.